Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Wilburn, Massachusetts, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a slight advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plans the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Real nice body kick lands. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. What a tricky head kick. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Under two minutes to go. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of 
chest. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice straight punch. with that right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you pull a lot of shot that's incoming. Big punch lands. Ooh. Real sneak. Sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in the He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Just over three minutes now to go. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Good punch. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Just misses with that big right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He loaded up that right now, too. Slips the punch nicely there. Big kick lands. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on.
up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Good punch, land. Nice one-two there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Looping left hand misses the target. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. He's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, what a kick! Head kick there blocked by Lee. Lands the right hand. Final 10 seconds of the fight. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest. 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight. Was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.